This video lesson will be all about solving level two types of Newton's second law problems, specifically with horizontal motion. Take, for instance, this problem. We have a force of friction between a 65 kilogram box of bowling balls and the floor of seven Newtons. If the box of bowling balls is acted upon by a horizontal force and accelerates at a rate of 0.2 meters per second squared, east, what is the force that is applied? Our first step, as always, is to pull out our given information. In this instance, we have a force of friction noted by F subscript F. We have the mass and we have the acceleration. We know that our unknown is the applied force, or F subscript A. At this point, we'll now put together our free body diagram. As before, we'll just use a square to denote that, or any other simple shape for that matter. And within that, we'll begin to add our information, such as the mass of the bowling ball. We'll set our positive and negative directions, and then we'll begin to add our forces. In this instance, our applied force, our frictional force, and then finally, the acceleration. Remember, in any FBD, we use not only arrows or vectors to denote our forces and accelerations, but we make sure to label them as well. From this point, we then move to our equation, which as always is sigma f is equal to m times a. Now at this point, we need to break down that sigma f because we know the sigma represents the summation or the sum of our forces into two pieces. We have our applied force and to that we add our force of friction. And then that subsequently is equal to m times a. At this point we want to do all of our algebra first so we, subs we subtract our force of friction from both sides and that'll cancel out the force of friction on the left hand side and leave us with f sub a is equal to m times a minus our force of friction or FF. At this point we've isolated our unknown so now we can begin to substitute. To substitute we'll plug in our 65 kilograms and our 0.2 meters per second squared and then we'll substitute in a minus of FF so a sigma or sorry the subtraction of the negative force. Okay. The force here is negative because it is acting in the negative direction. Right? The subtraction in front is represented by the algebra that was done. The negative sign inside of the parentheses represents the direction. At this point now we need to do the multiplication first. Always remember those order of operations, they're rather important and we'll end up with 13 newtons minus a negative 7 newtons which as we know when we subtract a negative number we actually add so FA is going to be equal to a final 20 newtons. If you have any questions about this type of problem or its solution please make sure that you see your teacher or rewatch the video um, and pause when you need to.